Hey, Sridhar from WPWDesign.com here. Um, this is a screencast in which I show you how we can use Oxygen to create this page that has a sticky section, the one that you see here at the bottom. Um, and as you scroll down, it is going to remain at the top. Okay. So let's start. First, I'm going to create a new page. And we do not see the edit with oxygen button unless you publish the page. By default, you can see that it is using the page um, template as the basis. I'm going to set this to none to start with a blank slate. And I'm going to now edit this page with oxygen. The first element that we need uh, to place on this page is the header and just to save some time I'm going to use one from the library. Okay. Below the header Let's add a section which has the, the hero element. I'm going to create a section. And I'm going to text set the text color to white. And set it to be centered horizontally. And set the background image. I'll set this to no repeat and we will add a image overlay color so the text can be read. But right now there is no text so let's first add the text so we can actually uh, see what we're doing. I think the image overlay is good enough. And below the hero section, let's add the sticky section. I'll set the background color to black, text color to white add a heading to something like this and I'll set center alignment for the parent section and we can remove the padding of 75 pixels at the top and at the bottom okay and below the sticky section, let us add one more section in which we have the content. Now, if you want the page content to appear in here, you need to add a So we can go to WordPress dynamic data and click on content and that will basically put the content of this page over here. Um, Let's save it. I'll go back to admin and add some content in the page. Okay, so we've got the page content appearing here and below this let's add a footer. I'll go to add, library atomic, I'm 
mm. select a simple footer simple footer like that okay so we need to make this uh, sticky section sticky and um, the way that it can be done is by using the position property of CSS and setting its value to sticky um, what we can do is we will select this section and give it a class of sticky and we will define the properties for this particular class in uh, custom CSS globally so I'll go to manage style sheets I'll create a folder having my name inside that I'm gonna add a style sheet and call this a global so here but sticky I would like to set position sticky and top zero and it's a good idea to give it a positive Z index so it just it appears on the top we also need to use uh, the vendor prefix so it works in Safari okay you can see that it immediately works as I scroll down it appears sticky at the top okay so what we need to do next is to make sure that uh, the header plus the hero they take up the full view of the height um, full height of the viewport um, for that we need to combine the header and section into a div I'll add my div move it to the top move the header inside it and the hero section also to inside okay um, when we move the header to inside this div you can see that it does not take up the full width we could fix it by selecting the stretch property for the horizontal item alignment um, for this div now I can set the minimum height as 100% of the viewport height by going to advanced and minimum height okay now we have the header here we have the section here and below the section is this white space we need to set the section to take up the um, available blank space in this div and the way to do it is by going to advanced layout and setting flex grow to 1 so that makes this particular section grow to fill up the available height So <clears throat> when that is done, the heading with it will not be actually horizontally, I mean vertically centered, which is what we want. And for that we could use um, CSS absolute positioning. I'm gonna set the position of this div as relative. and select the heading and set its position as absolute <clears throat> and we'll push it down from the top by 50% and from the left by 50% now we need to add some custom CSS to pull this entire heading box uh, to the left by half of the width of this box and we need to also pull it to the top by half of the height of the box to make sure that it is absolutely centered so in the custom CSS
I'm going to add the transform property uh, that says translate that means move it by uh, half of the width over to the left and half of the height from the top like that okay so while we are here we can uh, go to typography and change the line height to something like 1.2 for example 1.1 okay, I think it's fine okay there is one last thing that we need to do um, the sticky section is appearing below the viewport that means we need to reduce the height of this entire div uh, to be less than 100% of the viewport height so from the 100% VH we need to basically subtract whatever is the height of the uh, sticky section I'm going to inspect the sticky section and I can see that its uh, height is 142 pixels. Um, for the div, I'll now go to advanced and uh, size and spacing and remove this 100% VH. And in the custom CSS, um, I will set minimum height is 100 VH minus is it 142? Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, the sticky section is not exactly appearing like this because of the admin bar. Um, what we need to do now is to add a new CSS block that will account for the admin bar for this ID. So I'm going to create in this page a new code block to add the page specific CSS. I will comment out the PHP and HTML and go to CSS. To 142 pixels, we need to add the height of the admin bar, which is 32 pixels on desktops. And we need to add that admin bar class, which is the class that uh, HTML element contains when there is an admin bar showing up in WordPress. Okay, let us save it. And reload. So now it appears correctly on the initial page load. When I scroll down, you can see that uh, some of it is covered by the admin bar again. So let's go back to style sheets. And we'll set the top to 32 pixels for the sticky element when there is an admin bar. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, how this behaves responsibly. Looks like at 768 pixels, the navigation is collapsing into the hamburger menu. And from this point of point onwards, we can remove the sticky feature.
what we can do is to wrap this CSS inside a media query. <clears throat> like that. So this CSS will basically apply <clears throat> only from 769 pixels and above. As I scroll down, you can see that it uh, scrolls with the rest of the page. It is not sticky anymore from 768 pixels and below. But from 769 and above, it is going to stick to the top when it comes into the view. So to recap, what we have done is we have initially created the header and we have created the hero section. And below that we have created the sticky section. And I gave this a class of sticky and I've set position to sticky and top to zero, which is what will make this element uh, remain in view fixed to the top of the browser when we scroll past it. And then I have wrapped the header and the hero section inside a div. And for this div, I've set the minimum height to the height of the viewport minus whatever is the height of the sticky section. So that is the essence of what we have done today. Hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.